So I'm sitting in a Starbucks listening to the blues. Sound peculiar enough for you? Thinking about the recent interesting news, wondering which bits of it are true. Nostradamus knew a thing or two. The end of days is on its way, and this is my newscast for today. Sherlock Holmes and Moriarty, James Bond, Goldfinger, Dot, you know. Those folk could really party hearty, good and evil, toe to toe. But Holmes and Bond took out the fiends. Spider-Man, Batman, the Fantastic Four, pumping their muscles to the max in comic books and paperbacks and on multiples of screens, fight twisted masterminds galore and thwart a threatening attacks. So things will be as they've always been. But suddenly it's a different deal. Don't ask why, just when, where, how. And here's some stuff that's coming in now. Paul Kevin Curtis, a Mississippi dude, is an Elvis impersonator. He's goofy, but good. Can do Johnny Cash, Bon Jovi, Prince's Little Red Corvette. Oh, the treats you can find on the internet. But Paul Kevin Curtis has some attitude. Wants to blow the evil Elvis circuit apart. I'm on the hidden front lines of a secret war. He confided on Facebook, not so secret anymore. Just an ordinary whack job until they claim that he sent a rice and lace letter to the president. But now they think it a different guy. Seems they got quite a cast list standing by. Poisoned by a paranoid clown, that'd be a death pretty hard to live down. Just for a moment that looked as if Kim Kardashian had control of some nukes. <laughs> it wasn't that Kim, it's Kim Jong-un. North Korea's number one favorite son, threatening the US with them a nuclear attack. But Dennis Rodman says he's planning on heading on back. He wants to just hang and have some fun. Ooh, that's a relief. So, moving on. School massacres are definitely not okay. And please don't shoot babies in the face. But don't try and take the shooter's guns away or Wayne LaPierre will be on your case. And check out those choppers. This guy don't play. Don't you understand yet? It's not guns that kill. They got the message in the Senate and on the Hill. Those poor, poor partners at Goldman Sachs, wincing at endless, envious attacks. Who cares whatever they did to Greece? Let's kiss and make up and have us some peace. Do we have to butcher every cash cow? Bankers have feelings. It's high time for healing. And this is the world we're living in now. Someplace else compassion is called upon. A few New York polls have been caught on the take. Hey, anybody can make a mistake. That sound you just heard was my heart of stone break. Anthony Weiner's marriage is Camelot, according to him. He deserves a shot. On the Times magazine cover, he looked really good. The image of sorrowful victimhood. So please, won't you give his hand a shake? What's that? No? Really not? Well, moving on. Global warming? That's a party killer. Pollution's a business routine, not a crime. Enjoy a hurricane like a thriller. The climate? That changes all of the time. I'm a conservative. I'm conserving for me. The Lord will take care of posterity. Geoffrey Chaucer wrote about Fortune's Wheel. It's not a wheel nowadays, it's firework displays. Bombs are exploding all over the place. We must look like party planet from outer space. Our new reel is the surreal. The end of days is well on its way. And that was my newscast for today.